Hello friends. Well, for someone who isn't bothered by trolls, or so he says, he who shall not be named from the channel that shall not be mentioned seems obsessed with us. In particular the troll group at the moment, but in general trolls as a whole. Let's take a look at his latest inane ramblings, which as ever are variable in accuracy. But are a nice bit of free advertising for our group. Hello everybody, welcome back to Planet X News. It is May 9th, 2017. Trolls. The little people under the bridge that come into the comment section and basically create havoc and try to change your mind. Whom is creating havoc exactly? Delivering real information and links to said information is hardly havoc. You may be confused that it is often your more zealot-like subs who are going to a frenzy of expletives at the sight of facts that fly in the face of the lies you fill their minds with. I mean, it's not like we're telling the people the world's in imminent danger of coming to an end, is it? And if you don't believe me, ladies and gentlemen, that this actually exists, we have our own Planet X Nibiru trolls. And this is one of their YouTube channels. They don't even try to disguise it. They named it Troll. What does Troll stand for? Truth over reason, excuse me, let me get that correct. Truth and reason over litany and lies. Well, why would we hide? When you have the truth, you don't hide it, you share it. Truth should always be free to all. Glad you like the acronym though, and its derivation. Thank you for making the effort to get it right. But do you understand what it actually means? I am rather proud of it. I stumbled across one of your videos last year and commented purely because I was stunned at the utter bollocks being spouted. They called me a troll. My response is now something of a legend and here we are. The liar and the troll. But see, ladies and gentlemen, it's groups like this that are third parties hired by whomever to create all of this doubt. Third parties. Oh, please. First, it was the government. I'm still waiting for the check, by the way. It never seems to get here. Now it's Monsanto. Hey, maybe next week I'll get paid could be working for mother care. I'm sorry, but the only reason we do what we do is because we actually care that people get caught up in this bullshit. And it is bullshit. Some of us have relatives or friends who have had experience in the rabbit hole. So yes, we do what we can to save others the pain and anguish that this madness can cause. Like you say, there are lots of groups and individuals. But just to correct you on one point, Intelligent people don't think lens flare and optical anomaly are fantasy planets. They would also seek better proof than an idiot who never does the finger test. Maybe go and read a book or three to see what reality has to say about ludicrous claims made by a self-confessed dum-dum. This is why these groups and individuals have such an easy time debunking your rubbish. Repeatedly. And as you can see, I mean, let's just take a look. You can take a look right here and you can see all of the YouTube channels that are associated and there's many, many more, many, many more. Look, you could even see my name right in there. They, they call me all kinds of names. If we just take a look at their videos in this troll organization, look, there is a picture of me, me, that's me right there. That is one of my uh, YouTube channel logos. This is my video. Uh, there are many, many other videos in here. This is my video. This is Chris Potter. There's Chris Potter again. Here is a video about the uh, doctor, our physicist with the middle finger up in the air. So ladies and gentlemen, this is what these people do. And they do this day in and day out. <clears throat> But ladies and gentlemen, the reason why I'm telling you this once again is to simply show you 
that this does exist. And whether you want to believe it or not, it is a dangerous situation. Because when people want to hide something, when they want to take away your right to information, that creates a very dangerous situation. A dangerous situation where, look, I hate to break it to you, but no one ever died from a lens flare masquerading as a fantasy killer planet. Last year, we had you and others banging on about an uptick in earthquakes. At the end of the day, it turned out they were less than a year before. Talk about making a mountain out of a molehill. Reason being, if you did not know something was about to happen, and it happened, and it caused a life-threatening situation, or put you or your family in harm's way, and you didn't have the information simply because someone withheld it from you. They lied to you. They got inside of your head and they changed your mind. When you look at these groups that call themselves truthers, truthers, they are bringing you the truth. But in actuality, ladies and gentlemen, the key word in their name right there, lies. Actually, if I could just stop you there, it's truth and reason over litany of lies. You were doing so well as well. Now, to turn your point on its head, ever heard of the boy who cried wolf? Well, that's you. Now, notwithstanding, there is no fantasy planet or brown dwarf out there, but you are dulling people's senses through the possible real world dangers. By keeping them in a constant on the edge, they will become acclimatized to the heightened levels. And when you maybe one day call something right, they may not respond in the sharp and ready manner that they would have. I trust you can see how that works. L I E S lies. And ladies and gentlemen, here is going to be the biggest mind blowing item that I'm going to drop in your lap. Do you know that these people in this troll organization on YouTube that is specifically geared towards Planet X, Nibiru, Wormwood, Nemesis. Do you know they have their own app on their cell phones? And these people are around the world. Scotland, Ireland, the UK, Canada, the United States, Australia, New Zealand. They're everywhere. And they have their own app. Their own app, the troll app. Oh no, we've been rumbled. You mean this freely available application called Slack? It's geared towards an office environment where it can play a practical role in bringing satellite offices or even other businesses together online. Or in our case, just a chat client like MSN or Pigeon or any other P2P messaging client that allows group chat. Yes, we are from all over the world. Hello from the UK. Hang on. Aren't your subscribers from all over the world? Should this be viewed as suspicious? They use this application called Slack. They think that they're very sophisticated when in actuality, they're pretty stupid because they let two of my people into their group back in December of 2016 and these two individuals have been reporting back to me everything these people have been doing. I object to the word sophisticated. I'm debonair. Stop projecting as well. Your own lack of intelligence is your problem, not ours. Oh no, did we? My life is undone. have to move. In fact, we'll have to move entire families. Witness protection. Oh, I wish the government were my employer. Then that would all be taken care of. 
Well, your spies must have been really disappointed not finding government trolls at all and just ordinary people with a common humanitarian goal. Sorry, but do feel free to make it up like you usually do. It hasn't stopped you so far. Oh, and we're not bothered because we have nothing to hide, dummy. Slack is just a convenient place to get together, have a chat and coordinate and review videos that are rubbish and generally have an intelligent conversation and interaction. I thought your chaps are a bit quiet. And it doesn't bother me that they have my picture in absolutely rotten videos about me and many, many others. And now, you know, this is the group that, that slandered the doctor. And the bottom line is they really don't do anything, you know, to stop me. They try, but they're never going to get anywhere because the bottom line is there is entirely too many of us and not enough of them. And each and every day, we just stamp them out like the little cockroaches they are. Oh, so you don't care now. Can I have my channel back then? Because you were certainly caring then. Obviously had your sense of humour removed. Oh, and as for telling him people in conjunction with that, that I had threatened you, Potty, and the Doctor, not very nice as it wasn't true, was it? Or would you care to produce actual proof that I'd said that or said anything? You see, unlike you, I would never under any circumstances threaten a woman. I mean, who is it that has a conviction for assault of a minor and his mother? It's not me, is it, Sunshine? Well, I just thought I'd clarify that point. So just as you know, there are major corporations around the world that use these online trolls. Case in point, Monsanto. There you see it. Headline. They're using trolls to basically shut people up. But it's not going to work because we as a people are much more intelligent and much stronger than these individuals. Hang on. You're the one who's been seen extolling your subs to go troll channels that you deem the enemy. You know, the ones who debunk your rubbish lens flare or misinterpreted NASA data or even stolen and edited video footage. Stop using the word intelligent. Intelligent people don't start screaming for blood and issuing death threats, as has been witnessed in your comments and live chat on many occasions. How long before some idiot acts on your exhortations and tries to harm someone who has disagreed with you or debunked one of your videos? Or has that already happened? Well, I think that's this video covered for copyright. All right, oh nameless one. So make sure you please understand the point that I'm trying to get across here today. This is Scott from Planet X News. Thank you for watching. Okay, guys, you know, whatever.